Welcome back to our coding tutorial series. In today's video, we're going to create a simple checkbox with some cool styling using HTML and CSS. We'll be working with today. As you can see, we have an element with a class of wrapper that contains an element of type checkbox and an element. The element serves as a container for our checkbox. It has some CSS properties defined to control its size, position, and alignment. We're using Flexbox here to center the checkbox vertically and horizontally with it. Look at the CSS code. We have defined some styles for the wrapper class, which is applied to the element. The wrapper class sets the height and width of the container and uses absolute positioning combined with the transform property to center it on the page. We also set the display property to flex and use the align items and justify content properties to center the checkbox inside the container. Let's move on to the checkbox itself. We have defined some styles for the element with the attribute selector. The styles applied to the checkbox remove its default appearance using the appearance and webkit appearance property. We set the height and width to create a square shape and give it a background color. The border radius property rounds the corners, and we use the cursor property to show a pointer when hovering over the checkbox. Lastly, we have the element that represents the text associated with the checkbox. We set the color, font size, and font family for the label text. The cursor property makes the label clickable. To add a checkmark when the checkbox is checked, we use a pseudo class called after on the element. The after pseudo class allows us to insert content after the element. We're using the font awesome 6 free font to display the checkmark icon. The content property specifies the Unicode character for the checkmark and other properties control the size, weight, and color of the icon. We also define styles for the checkbox when it's hovered over or checked. When the checkbox is hovered over, we change the background color to a lighter shade. And when the checkbox is checked, we change the background color to a different color. That's it for today's tutorial on creating a stylish checkbox using HTML and CSS. I hope you found this video helpful. Feel free to experiment with the code and customize it to suit your needs. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more coding tutorials. Until next time, happy coding!